Hello, good evening, Elena. Hello. Hello guys, good evening, Fernando, lady, welcome. Thank you, Miss. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Excellent. So you're lady. Okay, so I cannot see you. Can you see me? Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, lady. Just waiting for the rest. What's going on today? I think that's the traffic. How was the traffic, lady? Aquí no hay tráfico. <laughs> Excellent, awesome. <laughs> I really need that job. Uh, do you work at home? No? Um, no. Uh, le voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo explicarle. Uh -huh. eh, soy formadora docente y acompañamos a 58 centros educativos en formaciones. Eh, son siete municipios de la zona norte de Morazán, así que andamos como visitando todos esos centros escolares. Wow, that's a little bit difficult, I think. Do you have to move? Pero tiene que andarse moviendo. Sí, sí, nos But movemos muchísimo. In that place, I guess. Oh, no hay tráfico ahí. No. ¿Conoce Perkin? No. no. Algún día la voy a traer, mis. Okay. Sí, me parece bien. Es que ando... llegué allá a Morazán. No, no llegué a donde. Absolutamente. No, estoy aquí. Oh, no, aquí no hay tráfico. Aquí el clima es súper rico. Quizás en la Panamericana parte, pero no. De ahí, contrario. Nada. Qué chivo. No, tiene, tiene que venir aquí, es, o sea, no hay tráfico, no hay nada, es súper relajado, montañas, pinos. <risa> ok, yes, I think so. <risa> Creo que sí, me voy a dar una vuelta por ahí. <risa> ok, lady, thank you. Um, well, uh, René, how was your day, René? Very good. Very good. So you look thinking about this uh, idea. <laughs> so you're great. Yes. Sad, yeah, yeah. tired. Very thinking about A life. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Okay. Veronica. Uh, yes. Rene. <laughs> yes. How are you? Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, René, please uh, continue. What were you telling us? ¿Qué nos estaba comentando ahí, René? Ah, eh, mm, ver cómo se dice. And the traffic. Okay. I, I'm going to try uh, a uh, highway Los Toros. So you, okay, you travel from San Salvador to Santa Ana, I think. The other way around. From Lourdes or Santa Ana? Ah, okay. 
Yeah, but so, that's a place where there's a lot of traffic. Y los chorros. Eh, yo lo hago al revés, quizá porque yo bajo caminando y todo el mundo viene para la capital. Y en mm -hmm. la tarde yo vengo subiendo y todo el mundo va, va para fuera de la, de la capital. Ah, ok, you're very lucky. Ajá. Pero ese nada más, a veces hago una hora por, solo por 16 kilómetros, 18 kilómetros. Mm, well, uh -huh. well, that's okay, that's fair. Sí, está bien. But you're very mm -hmm. lucky, by the way. Because if uh -huh. you... Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, la actividad número 9 no la podemos hacer juntos. Uh, yes, you, you may do it, but... We're going to have that class on Monday. El lunes vamos a cubrir ese tema, pero, but if, if you can, you can do it, okay? Thank you. Okay, Fernando. Okay. Well, but... Por lo menos la idea. Hemos intentado hacerla y no. Esa tiene trampa, tiene cascarita. Tiene cascarita. So we're going to check that on Monday. Mm -hmm. We're going to check that on Monday. I think that's another model. And Veronica, let's see, Veronica, how are you, Veronica? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I I I had a day uh very hard. Hard day? Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm going to try to help you to forget that hard day, okay? Yes. <laughs> uh, because I like this class and, and I I get running to camp here. Okay, yes, because we're going class. to start with the game. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. And you, Rafael, how are you? Good? Tired? Don't you Hello. want to talk today? <laughs> Hello. You happy? You're always smiling. Siempre está sonriendo este chico. <laughs> okay, Marlene. Okay. And how about you, Clelia? Clelia, Elena, uh, Fernando, Nilton, um, Diana, can you turn on your cameras, guys? I want to see you, okay? So a day pass and I must let me share, guys, with you. And we're going to start. So I hope you're ready for this activity. We're going to start with an, an amazing activity. And, uh, well, this is the day, right? February the 3rd. 2023, okay. Okay, so don't forget that we have to complete these activities. If you're missing one from week one, please complete it. And uh, remember that we're going to finish uh, second our second week on Thursday, I think. Monday, Tuesday, I mean. Okay. Okay, so look at this. We have this agenda, and Rafael, can you help us, please? So, what's the agenda for today? Okay, session seven: uh, warning up class object, prestas models made in mint, task preparation uh, exercise, task conversation test, mm -hmm. wrap up accident. Okay, so look at this. Well, this is actually session number eight. Session eight. So we're going to talk ah, about okay. uh, models may and might, and we're going to uh, have some exercises and some sp speaking activities. Okay, and look at this. We have our warming up. So what are the instructions, Renee? Uh, warming up. Uh, instruction work with a team perform the activities started practice activity. okay awesome so look at this so just i'm going to share with you back again and we're going to divide the class into teams so this is called something like uh, well simon says i think that you already know that game right in spanish so you have to do the following activities and we're going to divide the class in two, but let's see. Okay, voy a contar con los que tienen las camaritas encendidas. Quienes todavía no saben. Let's see, Daniel, Clelia, 
I don't know, uh, Diana, who told me that was working? Alguien me dijo que estaba trabajando. But the, the rest, activate your cameras, okay? Okay, uh, I'm going to divide the class in two teams. Listen up. Ana Marlene, Ana Veronica, Clelia, um, Daniel, okay, Elena, and Fernando. Team. Okay, and Fernando, you are team number one, okay? Ana Marlene, Ana Veronica, Clelia, Diana, Elena, and Fernando, you are team one, okay? Got it? Team one, ready? And the rest, what happened with the rest? Let's see. Team two, Veronica, Burgos, Rafael, Oscar, Milton, Lady, and Julio. You guys ready? Team two, ready? Julio, Lady, Milton, Rafael, and Veronica Burgos. Team okay. two. Okay, so let's start. Winner. So listen up. So remember, this is Simon Says. So you have to do the activities that are asked or that are request. Okay, uh, team one, please. Select any number from 1 to 16. Number two. Number two. So listen up. Another instruction, please. You all have to do the activity. Todos tienen que hacer la misma actividad, okay? So if you're asked to dance, you have to dance, okay? Simon says jump. Simon says jump, guys. Let's see, team one. If you do it, I'm gonna give you the point. Team one, go ahead, team one. Let's see. So where is the team? Diana, let's see. <laughs> Nobody, team. <laughs> okay, Marlene, she's, I Zero. don't know what she's doing. <laughs> no points. Team two, what do you think? Team two. No. No points? No points. Points or no? No one. No points. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Team two, go ahead. Pick a number. Don't be shy. Come on, you yeah, can do ten. it. Ten. Seven. Oh, ten. Seven? Seven. Okay. Oh, ten. Ten. Simon says love. Simon says love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're doing great. And Too easy. <laughs> That was good. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, it, it was easy. <laughs> but, okay, team two, go ahead, team. I mean, team one. Your oh, turn. Nine. Nine. Yes. Can you repeat the number? Nine. Okay. Simon says sleep. Simon, easy guy. Simon says sleep. Let's see. Esa la puedo one? hacer de verdad. No, come on. But do it. <laughs> Clelia, Clelia is, is sleeping and also smiling. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, so so. <laughs> it was better. <laughs> okay. So I, so I was giving you the chance to sleep. Team two, go ahead. 11. Team. 11. Simon says, Simon says, shake your hips. So at least do the mimic. Okay. <laughs> nice, Rafael, Oscar, Veronica. Very good. Okay. A uh, very good Nilton. Look at Nilton. So he's doing it. Great. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's shake. Um, okay. Team one, go ahead. Pick a number. Team one. Ready for the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay. Simon says, clap your hands. Easy. Let's see. Clap your hands. Everybody clapping. Veronica Hernandez. Very good. Okay. Fernando. So look at them. So they, they can do it. Okay. Okay. Team two. So it's a tie. So we have a tie here. Team two. Four. Number four, okay. Simon oh, says yeah. run. Let's do the mimic. Do the mimic. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
Vamos. <laughs> Excellent, Elisa. Veronica. <laughs> Very good, Rene. A lady. They're doing great. Okay. So they save you guys. Okay, team one, go ahead. Team one. Six. Smile. Smile. So you see, I love you guys. So you're doing the easy ones. Smile, team. Excellent. So <laughs> people will see that you love that class. <laughs> okay, nice. So show your teeth. Okay, team two, go ahead, team. Number 15. 15, okay. Simon says, swing your arms, okay? Let's see, I wanna check that. Swing, swing your arms. Very good, awesome. Diana Maribel is helping too, Nilton, nice. Okay, okay, awesome, guys. So, woo, you're having fun. Okay, team one, pick a number, team. 10. Okay. Take points from team two. Oh. Oh. Points, guys. Team one. Oh, Five, 10, 15, 20, or two. Five. 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 Yes. So you have to take points from team two. How many points? Uh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> 20, 25. 25. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the luck is with you guys. Team two, your turn. Number one. Okay, number one. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Simon says, touch your nose. Team two, easy. Touch your nose. Okay, one, two, three, four, uh, five. Nice. Let's see, let's continue. Got it, very good. Team one, go ahead. Team one. Number three. Number three. Okay. Simon says, move and stop. Simon says, move and stop. Team one. I understand. <laughs> Move and stop. Uh, 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 uh. So then you stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Team two, your turn. Eight. Number eight. Okay. Win 10 points. Okay. Thank you. If that was a gift. That was a present for you. Team one. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Simon says, sit down. So stand up and sit down. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, team. Okay. I didn't see anybody. Guys, team two, did you see that if they were doing the activity? Yes. ¿La hicieron equipo dos la actividad? Era para equipo uno, teacher ese. Ajá. Yes, but I don't know if they did it. No sé si le hicieron, no le alcancé a ver. Yo lo hice dos veces ya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Let's see, let's continue. Team two. <laughs> Después de eso, sigamos. <laughs> Team two, please pick a number. 16. Okay. Simon says walk. Simon says walk. Let's see, team. Okay. <laughs> but I got, she's amazing. Okay, nice. Okay, very good. Team one, your last opportunity. So this is your final. 12, 12 or 14? 12. 12. Okay. So lose 25 points. No. <laughs> okay, team 12. And team two, your last activity, Simon says, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Well, I cannot see you, but you gotta do it. Okay, Rafael and Veronica. Awesome. Okay, so let's continue, guys. 
with the class and um okay just let me close that So we know who the winner is, right? Who was the winner? <laughs> okay, well, all, all of you are winners. Let's see, let's continue. We're going to check the vocabulary for today. And look at this, we have some verbs. Um, and we're also going to check some more um, tenses, the simple past form and the participle form. So we're gonna start with this one, spoil. Spoil. Can you see the um, vocabulary, guys? Can you see that? Spoil. 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 So, what's the meaning for spoil? Spoil. Spoil. Any idea? What's the meaning for spoil? My I teacher. Think, I think that you have said it. So when you tell somebody, um, let's see the movie or the series or the or the end of a series or the end of the, that anime that you like, so you spoil that information. No idea? Spoil? Como eso de spoiler que dicen? Yes, arruinar, a perder. So that's spoil. The next one is. Stand, 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 steal, 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 strike, okay, strike, strike, what's the strike? Strike, 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 strike. So when you go to the, I don't know, the galaxy bowling probably. So what's the meaning for strike? Any idea? Mm -hmm. Strike. Strike. Oh, okay, yes. Golpear, something like that. Strike. Swim. 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 Take. Take. Teach. 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 Here. Tier. Yeah. Tier. Yeah. Tier. Yeah. Tier. So what's a tear? Lágrima. Lágrima. Okay. A suburb. Tear. 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 So what's um well a suburb? What's tear? An idea? Rasgar or Romper. Romper, desgarrar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell. Tell. And? Tell. Think. 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 And? Think. Throw. 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 So what's the meaning throw. for throw? Throw. So you throw something and somebody catch it. No, I think that. Ah, okay. And the last one, understand. Understand? Understand? Okay. Understand. 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 Okay. Again, spoil. Spo spoil. 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 Ten. Spoil. Stand. Stand. Steal. Steal. Strike. Steel. Strike. Swim. 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 Take, 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 think, take, 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 Understand. 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 Okay. So now look at this. Uh, I want you to check this. So we're going to check the present or the base form and the past form plus the participle form. So simple present, simple past, and 
participle form. Okay. Vit, vit, become, 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 begin, ben, ben, find, buy, bite, bite, bleed, bleed, bleed. Do you remember that? Bleed. Blow, blow, break, break, and the Ring. last one, Ring. Ring. Okay. Ring. So now let's check um the same line. Look at this. Beat, 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 beat. Simple past form. Beat, right? Beat. Past participle. Beat. Beaten, okay. Beaten or beaten. Beaten. Become. Pass on. Became. 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 Become. 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 Begin. 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 Okay, begin, began, gone. Begin, began, gone. The next one, bent, 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 Beat him, beat him, Blue, 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 Break. 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 So now listen, listen that and try oh. to well repeat that on your own. Beat, oh. beat, beat him. Okay, become, became, become, begin, began, begun, bent, 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 bind, bound, bound, bite, beat, and beaten. Bleed, bled, bled. Blow, blue, and blown. Break, rock, broken. Ring, rot, and rot. Let's see, volunteers, somebody, one volunteer who wants to try. So I think we're gonna check this one. Yes. Okay, Julio? Go ahead, Julio. Paul. This, this, this chart. Beat, uh -huh. beat, beat, beat. Mm -hmm. Become, became, become. Begin, begun, begun. Bent, bent, bent. Being, bow. Whoa. By beat, beaten. Bling, blay, bling. Blow, blue, blow. Break, broke, broken. Bring, broke, broke. Okay, thank you, Julia. Very good. Let's see, somebody else. Somebody else? Okay, lady, go ahead. 
Vid, vid, viren. Become, became, become. Begin, begin, begun. Bend, bent, bent. Bind, bound, bound. Bite, beat, beaten. Bleed, bled, bled. Blow, blue, blown. Break, broke, broken. Ring, brought, brought. Okay, excellent. Oscar? Beat, beat, beaten. Became, become. Begin, begin, begun. Bend, bend, bend. Bind, bow, bone. Bite, beat, beaten. Blend, blend, blend. Blow, blend, blow. Break, broke, broken. Bring, broke, broke. Okay, thank you. So this is bring, brought, brought. Uh, let me check. Okay, so let's uh, check that again and later you practice with the classmate. This one and this, this chart too. Vit, vit, beaten. Become, became, become. Begin, began, begun. Bend, bent, bent. Bind, bound, bound. Bite, bit, beaten. Bleed, bled, bled. Blow, blue, blown. Break, broke, broken. Bring, brought, brought. Okay, so listen up. I want you to practice and help your classmates to pronounce that correctly. So please, work in pairs. I'm going to give you two or three minutes. Well, two, uh, well, three to five minutes, okay? So you can uh, practice a little bit that the uh, charts, that information in the charts, okay? So got it, guys? Join the breakout rooms and I'm gonna send you the pictures, okay? Teacher va a pasar la imagen que no puedo recortar, no sé por qué. Ahorita, ahorita ya la, ya la compartí. Verifiquen ahí en el grupo. Gracias. Ok. Carlos. Ok. Verónica, Nilton. ¿Los envío nuevamente, chicos? No. Fernando Estelán.
bled, bleed, perdón, bled, bled, blow, blue, blow, break, broke, broken, bring, broke, broke. Ok. Esta ronda sería beat, beat, become, became, become, became begin, begin, began, bend, bend. Bend, 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 bite, beat, beaten, bleed, bled, bled, blow, blue, blown, break, broke, broken, bring, bro, y bro. Hola. 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 Y no, no estaba del teléfono, no podía y venía en camino. Pero ya vi lo que están haciendo. Me, me incorporo. Vaya, dele. Dele, llevamos tres veces, así que las tres veces corridas le va a hacer. Sí, me traba la lengua. <risa> <risa> ok, va a desde Bit, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Bit, bit, eh, bit, bit, algo así. Va. Become, be, be, become, begin, began, began, eh, bell, bend. Bend, eh, bein, bound, bound, beat, beat, eh, beat, bleed, eh, blend, blend, brown, blue, brown, break. Broke, broken, bring, bro, bro. De nuevo. Beat, beat, eh, beat, become, became, eh, become, begin. Begin, began, bend, 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 by, bound, bound, beat, beat, bend, bleed, bled, bled, blow, blue, blown. Break, Brook, Brooking, Brig, Brown, Brown. Dos o tres, ya. Yeah. Vaya, está bueno. Está bien, más o menos. Sí. Le damos otra ronda más. Ok. Vaya, eh, voy yo entonces. Beat, beat, broad, lo hacemos de nuevo antes de que nos regresen. Sure. Yo tengo una pregunta. Hola, teacher. 
Teacher, me escucha. Oh, bueno, mi pregunta es la, es la siguiente. Ahora sí. Ok, ve mi punt el punterito de, de, del mouse. Ajá. Por ejemplo, esto, eh, bueno, o esta que está acá es la pronunciación, pero uh -huh. y este simbolito como cero es, no se pronuncia, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? Es como un sonido de un Z. Sonido? Es como un sonido de Z. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí. Think. Ajá, pero no, sí. eso se escucha sí. como, como think. Ajá. Vamos a ver, ¿lo puedo hacer acá? Think. 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 Ajá. think. 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 Ah, ok, perfecto. Thank you, Nilton. Bueno, ya practicamos, teacher. <risa> Yo creo que seguimos practicando en eso. <ríe> Blanca quiere iniciar de nuevo la ronda. O bueno, empezamos del último primero. ¿De cuál es el último? No sé, si quiere empieza usted entonces. Ah, no, yo pensé que, eh, que decía de las últimas palabras. <risa> ah, no. <risa> ah, también se puede para, para no hacer. Al revés lo vamos a hacer. Eh, bring, brown, bro. bro. Hola, me sacó. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Hola, yes. hola. I know, me sacó, I know. me sacó. O ya volvimos todos. Ya volvimos, ya volvimos. <ríe> Ajá, pensé que me había sacado y yo me quedé hablando solo. <ríe> no, don't worry. Thank you so much, guys. Let's uh, see. We're going to continue with the, well, with the class objective for today's class. And look at this. We have, well, I'm just going to wait for some of your uh, classmates. Ah, para alguno. Compañeros. Okay. Well, uh, well, meanwhile, uh, can you read the class objective, Veronica, please? Uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, okay. really? Yeah, really. Class, okay, class. Oh, I will be able to give and ask for opinion about a customer's satisfaction of a product. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Veronica. And we're going to start with the grammar point, models made in my guys. So I want you to pay attention to that. And okay, just hold on a second. Look at this. Um, so remember that modal verbs can be used in order to express possibility, permission, ask, for permission or express wishes. Or also it can be in order to express, um, well, a possibilities or probabilities, right? So look at this, we're gonna study these two modal verbs, might and may, okay? May and might. Remember that May is also the month of the year, right? También es el mes del año but we're gonna use them as modal verbs in order to express the following. Possibility, permission, ask for permission, express wishes, um, and some other usages. 
Look at this, may or might, what to use. Look at this, I want you to pay attention to this green chart because we're gonna be working with this. Rene, can you help us and read this information, may or might? Hello, hello. Sorry. Ah, okay. What is uh, possibility? Okay, read is my rain better so take an umbrella. I may watch a movie tonight. Okay, so we're gonna start with this side. Yeah. Julio, can you help us, Julio, with this this information here? May and my can normally be interchanged without a uh, significant difference in meaning whatever in mind of oh, implies a smaller change for something happening when a specific possi possibility is my rain is my rain okay thank you so look at this, just, uh, I just want you to keep in mind this. Modal verbs help us in order to talk about possibility, permission, or you can be a little bit formal, right? Or when you want to be polite, right? Or more formal. So may or might. Let, uh, I want you to repeat that with me. May and might. May, may, may. 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 Might. 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 Okay. Might. So in Spanish, it means puede. Okay, so that's the meaning in Spanish. Podría. It, mm -hmm. Puede. Podría. Example, it may rain. It may rain. Puede llover. Sure. Okay, it might rain. So what is the difference between these two? So that there is a more probability to happen. Look at this, however, um, look at this here. However, might often implies a smaller chance. Okay, so we start with might, a smaller chance or opportunity or probability, right? And may show us um, a strong possibility. So that is the difference between these two models, okay? So strong possibility, a smaller chance. Hay una posibilidad, pero más baja. So I don't want you to tell you a percentage because it can vary depending on where you started. But uh, you got to understand that. So that's key uh, when uh, differentiating these two models. So strong possibility, may. Smaller possibility or chance, might. Okay. Is it clear? So when talking about possibilities, guys, is it clear this idea? Might. Mm -hmm. May. May it may rain. It may rain. It may rain. Probably mm -hmm. a smaller chance. Mm -hmm. Chance or possibility too. Okay. So ch by chance we mean opportunity, right? Okay. So now that we have that idea clear, let's continue. Look at the examples that we have over here. It <laughs> might rain later. So take an umbrella. So the possibility to rain, well, so there is a, a, let's say a smaller possibility that this can happen, but it's not certain, okay? No es seguro, so it's not certain, but there's still a possibility, pero si hay una posibilidad. It may, I may watch a movie tonight. So there is a strong possibility, so nothing to say or add. Okay, now let's continue with the second usage. Eso era parte del primer uso, okay? Second usage, give permission, only may. Para dar permiso, vamos a utilizar may. Look at this. Okay, 
Para hacerlo en orden, vamos a empezar por acá, miren chicos, por las, eh, veamos, cómo pedir permiso. Empezamos por acá, que la otra es la respuesta. Ok. So ask for permission. How do we ask for permission? May I borrow your pen, please? May I have some water, please? Okay. May I have your attention, please? Well, that's not permission. May I have your books, please? Puedo tener sus libros. So the equal of, can you give me your notebooks? May. I go to the movies. So I know that a question, probably you will have a question about it with the usage of can. May I use the, let's say, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you're asking for permission. What's another question? May I go out? May I leave? Puedo irme, puedo salir. What's another question? May, May I go to the bathroom? May I go to? To the, to the restaurant or bathroom, I don't know. Uh -huh. bathroom. Yes, yeah, bathroom, restaurant, or... um. Okay, I had another one. May I come in? Puedo pasar. So may I come in? Uh, solo para permiso es may y es para personal. Ok, para pedir permiso, puedo utilizar tanto may o might. Para sí. dar permiso, vamos a utilizar may. Ok, entonces aquí podemos hacer lo, lo mismo. Might. Ok, might I go out. Puedo salir. So the meaning is the same. Might I use the okay, toilet. My time. Might she come with us? Might she come with us? Okay, puede ella venir con nosotros? So why you to notice the structures too? And the answer is the following. Yes, okay. Yes, you may. No, you may not. So that's the answer, right? Or if you want to add a full answer, you may say, you may go with um, here, for example. You may use the toilet. You may probably visit your friend. So I'm giving you permission, permission, I mean, you may take, uh, you may take $10, okay? So for giving permission, you're gonna use me, okay? Is that idea clear, guys? So um, another um, thing that I can say about mate is and might is that may is, let's say it's a little bit formal. Well, we're gonna check that in, in a moment, okay? Look at this. So look at this. Uh, we can also use may in order to express wishes. Para expresar deseos, you can also use that. For example, may you both live a long and happy life. So you start with the model, may you 
have, for example, a happy birthday. Okay. Que tengas un feliz cumpleaños. May you be well. Que estés bien. Okay, so we express wishes. May the new year bring your happiness. Que el año nuevo te traiga felicidad. So you express wishes with may. Okay. May the year bring you happiness. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, in order to express uh, wishes. Look at the following. We have happens in certain situations. These tablets may produce side effects. Kids may be scared by these images. So we're talking about something, uh, well, some, some activities that can be general. For example, these tablets may produce side effects. Well, in medicine, there are some things that can cause side effects, right? So it may produce side effects. Okay, kids may, kids may be, okay, okay, so kids may be happy if you give them cans. So what could be another uh, situation, a general situation could be, or in just some occasions. Men, maybe, okay, or may feel, let's say, great if their team wins, okay? So, hombres, so probably if you're talking about soccer, right? So just in certain situations, you can use may in order to express a possibility, right? So it's basically the same. So you express a possibility. So kids may be happy if you give them candies. Men may feel great if their team wins. Okay. And look at this. Uh, we also have a speculate about past actions. So that is the next one. She's late. She may have missed her plane. Your comment may have offended people. So we expect about past activities. So, but in this case, we're gonna use may or might in past perfect. Okay. Example, we fail a test, we may, have, pudimos haber, fallamos el test, pudimos haber, ahora participio, parecido a lo que habíamos ayer con can and could, we failed a test, we may have studied, pudimos haber estudiado, right, so we speculate about a past action, They arrive. They arrive on time. On time, okay. They may have. So, what is the past participle for? Let's see. Wake. Wake. Or got. Wake early. Mm -hmm. Wake. Early. Ah, okay. So I'm going to use the other one. They may have got early. Okay. Ellos pudieron haberse levantado temprano. Mm -hmm. So that is the usage when we talk about, speculate about past actions, when you use past a perfect. 
Okay, so now let's continue. But I want you to just concentrate, well, right now, concentrate about possibility because that's what we're talking about. And uh, look at this, may not can be used to not give permission or to prohibit someone from doing something. You may not take photos inside the museum. So you may not take photos. So that is the negative form, right? So you prohibit something from doing something. So now let's check some examples. Okay. So just give me a couple of seconds. Okay, so we're gonna uh, check this usage, asking for permission. So I'm gonna give you some examples because I want you to have clear asking for permission and possibility. Okay, look at this. Uh, examples, can you read the example please, Fernando? Well, let's see, lady, you there, lady? Hello, hello, lady. Your teacher, see. Okay, yeah. Nilton. May I can take a shower? Ah, okay, just hold on. So you didn't say anything. Okay, now you can read it, right? May I go to the toilet, please? Okay, second example. May I wash my hands, please? May I drink some water, please? Okay. May I wipe my nose, please? Okay. May I come in, please? May I go out, please? Okay, Milton. I... Ah, okay, go ahead, lady. Finish with that one. May I go to the school yard, please? Okay, Nilton, help us with this. <clears throat> okay. May I eat my snack, please? May I borrow borrow your your please? I could agregar algo, right? Uh-huh. So you can add something example, pen, pencil. Okay. May I may I borrow your pencil, please? And that's it, right? So when you ask for permission, it means that you're going to use may. So may, it's, um, let's say, it's more formal than using can. Could. Okay. Entonces, es como más formal. Es más formal. Porque, uh, commonly, uh -huh. yo a mis cheros de la escuela, solo se los agarro, no les digo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another thing. So you don't even ask. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. So we're going to check an example. We talk about, let me see, where is that exam? Okay, so we're going to work on an activity. Okay, here. So now we're gonna check some exercises in order to talk about possibility. So remember, when it comes to possibility, we have to choose the correct one, may or might. So depending, uh -huh, depending on the percentage that each of them represents. Uh, okay, so like this, here is a higher to be, is coffee, he, this. Okay. Like may right? Why? Why do you select? Why do you select May? Andrea is coughing. 
Okay, because she's coughing. So we have, well, we have an evidence, right? Number two, what with this, uh, Blanca, it's cloudy. It? Might. Okay, may or might? Might. Might. May, may try today. May, okay, so remember with may we have a higher possibility. Tenemos una posibilidad más alta de que ocurra. Uh -huh. May, un poquito más baja, okay? May. May, okay, so you think it's may. How about number three? I, hey. may might. or might? Might. 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 might, okay. Well. Number four, what do you think <laughs> about number four? You. You may to make a time. Mike, 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 Okay. Number five. Lucy is the last is in the last place. She may 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 lose the race. Okay. Number six, Tom. Uh, tomorrow I see her tomorrow. May. 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 So what do you think? May or May? May. 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 Okay. Number seven. So what do you think about seven? May. May. <laughs> Okay. Uh, number eight. Liam. My. 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 A car next month. My. A car next month. Okay. May or might? My. Might. Mm, okay. He. May. He may be absent to his. What's the me ill teacher? Sick. Sick. To be sick. sick. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Number 10. The exam may or might? May. What's the mean? The lie is the lie. Maybe. Demorado, retrasado o pospuesto. My. 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 Ok. My. Eleven. It. May. May. Ok. She's crying. She. My. May. 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 Might. Or may. 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 Okay. So let's read the sentences again and tell me if you want to modify something. Okay. Andrea is coughing. She may be sick. Number two. It's cloudy. It may rain today. Three, I might win the lottery. You may make it on time, but you'll have to hurry, okay? Lucy is in the last place. She may lose the race. Tom might go to the movie theater tomorrow.
seven, they may cancel the match today because of the rain. Leon might buy a car next month. He may be absent today because he's ill. The exam might be delayed. It may snow in the winter and she's crying. She may has bad marks. So do you want to modify anything? Yes, no? So do we check it? <laughs> Finish. Finish. <laughs> okay, so let's check it. Okay. Awesome, very good guys. So you got good grace. Okay. Un punto para examen. <laughs> Another quiz. So just remember that you have to read the sentences at least twice if you have time, right? Recuerden cuando tengan tiempo. Um, well, when you're learning, you have to read twice. So just for understanding, for example, in here. So you may make it on time, but you'll have to hurry. It's not clear at the beginning, but when you read the second sentence, you get an idea. But you'll have to hurry, okay? So this is telling me that it's uh, there is a strong possibility to happen. So I'm going to add may, right? So you have to read the sentences in some cases or what you're reading twice in order to understand that context, okay? So let's continue, guys. So just let me open that. I think that's charging. Okay. Okay, so let's practice with this exercise. So you're gonna observe some pictures and you have to select the right sentence in here. Okay, so we have affirmative and negatives. First picture. So you have to select one of these. So what's the right answer, guys? You may Find a high touch drone. Find a high touch drone. To be quick, buy a new buy laptop. laptop. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, that was my fault. Okay, ready for the next one. <laughs> okay, so what's the answer? I, I might be a high young Okay, nice. Ready for the next one? He may be a cook. He may be okay. a cook. He may be a cook. Awesome. Not she might not be a teacher. She might not be a teacher. No be teacher. Okay. So that was not me. And don't think it. <laughs> like at that. TV that. Uh, they might not be a teacher. Awesome, very fast. Next one. Do you like? You might not be friendly. It might not be a friendly. It may not be friendly. It may not be friendly. You may find a high pitch drum. Awesome. And the last one. I'm getting the C. I'm not difficile. We might buy a new laptop. Okay. So let's continue. We have some more exercises. All done. Okay, well now this is charging. Okay. So look at this. Right now we have some questions and we have to answer that questions using may or might. So you're going to say if that is uh, certain or not. So you say may, so you express a higher possibility and using might, you show a weaker possibility. So let's start. I'm going to select a big team. The first question goes for, let's see, is for Carlos Roberto. You go with the first question, Carlos. Tirala. 
<laughs> okay. Answer this question, please. When might you get a new job? <laughs> okay. Or a job? Uh, I may. I may yeah. now. <laughs> Okay, so that is this. So what is the structure that we follow? Subject plus may or might plus base form of a verb. So this is a structure that you need to follow. Example, I may get a new job next month. Puede que obtenga un nuevo trabajo el próximo mes. Or I might, right? Okay, next question, please. Um, well, let's see, Roberto. So when might you get a job? I might. I might get a new job now. Okay, well, okay. Thank you, Roberto. Let's see, Roberto, please select a classmate. Select a classmate, Roberto. For the next question. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, sorry. Select a classmate. One of your classmates. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Ask the question. Ask the question. What might you dream about tonight? Select a big team. The big team. Ah, que se está durmiendo ahí que no veo a Miguel. Miguel. Okay. Hi. <laughs> what so might Miguel. you dream about tonight? Um, ¿Qué puedes soñar esta noche? <laughs> um, I might. I might. Nothing. No sueño casi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might dream about ideas, guys. Ideas. So, what do you dream of? I might dream. About... Travel. Travel. About. Okay, traveling. A little angels, angels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, about being millionaire. Okay. Next question. Next so question for everybody. Answers. When might you get married, guys? You, not me. <laughs> Victima, victima, Miguel. <laughs> now, all of you, give me okay. an answer. Okay, uh, the next victim, um, Clelia. Okay, Clelia. When um, will you get married? I might get married never. Ah, okay, negative. Never and never. I might not get married. Mary. Let's see how about you? Let's see Diana. When you might when might you get married? Oh. <laughs> the next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's honest. So now like the rest, they don't want to share with us. Okay. Now some next question. Okay, um, please select a big team, guys. I might leave, remember that we're speculating, right? I might live in Japan. How about the rest? Veronica? Yes, I might live in Australia. I might live in Spain. Where? Yes. And 
I may live in Boston. Boston, okay. I might live in Boston. I might live in Brazil. How about the rest, guys? I might live in San Francisco, California. I live in San Francisco, California. No se va a olvidar de nosotros. I might live in China. Okay, in China. I might live in China and okay. Okay, nice. 10 years, so don't forget that. So you said it. Okay, next question. What might you do next weekend? So what might you do next weekend? I might. Run 10 miles. I might run 10 miles. How about you guys? Julio? I might visit my parents. This is my parents. Okay. Rafael? Diana, Clelia, lady? I uh, might travel um, in beach, in okay. the beach. Okay, to the beach. To the beach. Okay, nice. See, next question. I mean, so this is for I Elena. Have yes, to Elena. New... Okay, hold on, I'm going to turn on my camera. Okay, thank you, Elena. What time might you get out of bed next Saturday, guys? So tomorrow, what time might you get out of bed next Saturday? I might get out of bed at five or five a.m. at ten o'clock. Ten, okay, five, ten. What else? Uh, seven. Seven. The rest. Rene, what time? Eight, eight, eight. Five. Five. So I you may go out in the fifty half clock. Okay. Fifty five five fifty or half past five. So you mean um half past five, I think. Five thirty? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Half past five. Okay. Next question. Okay, tell me, guys, where might you go for your next holiday? I might go to, let's see, I might go to San Miguel. Uh, you, Oscar, Veronica, Diana, tell me, guys. For holiday. Holiday, yes, and for I, I might Valentine. go. To the Tonko Beach. Okay, Rene. Yes. It's the, I may go out in the Cerro Verde. Cerro Verde. Okay. I might in my job. My job. <laughs> so you might go to your job. Okay. And we have two more questions. What might you do after class, guys? So what might you do? I might uh, go to please. bed. Ah, uh, Fernando? I prepare for my break. Okay. Practice. I might do practice. Okay, you may, okay, you might practice. You might practice, not, might. Uh, or may. <laughs> uh, may, may, 
Ay, ok. Ok. <laughs> este, yeah, I, I, I sleep. <laughs> so I may sleep. Ok, and ah, the last one. So it's the last one. Mm -mm, I cannot say it. So we're gonna stop in that and there. Okay, so we'll continue guys with our next activity. And just let me share it back again. Miss today uh not uh, activity in the platform. Yes, we're gonna do that in a moment. Just hold on. Mm, thank mm -hmm. you. After um, I think after listening activity. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pass attendance, please, guys. I for forgot it to pass. <laughs> she may be hungry. Right? Yes. So we're like 20, so cool. Right? It's, it is a, a smoking. <laughs> okay. Um please say present, guys, and activate yo, your cameras. Yo llevo <laughs> Okay, Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández. Present, Miss. Verónica Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Blanca, Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Present. Thank you. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Present teacher. <laughs> Okay, Carlos Roberto Argueta Ramos. Present. Okay, Carmen Elena Moratalla Alas. Present. Thank you, Carmen. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Okay. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Cesar. Lady Joana Hernández. Presente, present. Thank you. Nilton Alexander Vasquez. <laughs> present. Okay, Oscar René Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Okay, Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael and Oscar. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present, teacher. Thank you, guys. So now let's continue. Okay, so look at this. So here we have uh, an speaking activity and writing activity. So I want you to practice with the classmate and you're going to ask these two questions. What may you do next weekend or what might happen next weekend, month or year? So that's up to you. And I want you to copy your classmates answers. So please try to give me at least three answers each, okay? So what may you do next weekend? She may go to the beach. She may go to France. She may visit her parents. What might happen next weekend? It may rain, it may, I don't know, happen something. So you have to mention something, right? 
So I want to copy your that answers and I want you to uh, write that answers in a platform. So I'm gonna give you the link. So just hold on. Oh. So I'm gonna open it in another way. Just hold on. So start thinking about your responses. So you're gonna submit your responses in here. So I'm gonna share the link with you. So you can uh, write that answers in here. So, but first you have to discuss that with your classmates. So you have to ask your classmates about it. So what may you do next weekend? Here you have the questions and you have to add your responses here. So you have to click in here and you select that bottom. You write, um, okay, you write the asunto. Example, uh, you write, so you can write your name. Let's say, for example, Nilton. You can add, uh, for example, if you want to add a screenshot, you, you may do it, or you can also write your sentences in here. She might go to the beach, for example. So I want you to write at least six to, to 10 sentences, okay? And then you share it. So look at this. So here I have a Nilton's exercise. So this is just an example, okay? So I'm going to create the breakout room. So I want you to interview your classmates. You're gonna have five minutes to do it and uh, write your responses in here, okay? So let's go, join the breakout rooms. So you're gonna ha have at least uh, five minutes. Go ahead, guys. Questions about the activity? Ask me if you have questions. Okay, chicos, preguntas, ¿quiénes no se han unido todavía? Nilton, Jorge, Diana, Blanca, Verónica. Perdón, tenía silenciado el micrófono. Ah, ok. Dígame, <laughs> dígame. Next week, what my name's. No, 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 serían 10, 10 ejemplos, ¿verdad? Pero serían en de 10 de mayo, 10 de mayo y 10 de mayo. Eh, no, solo 5, 5 de mayo y 5 de mayo. Eh, okay. Tienen que ser de las actividades que va a hacer su compañera. Ok. Ajá. Ok, no sé si ya recibió la invitación, no. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Ok, Jorge, y ahorita lo, ahorita lo incorporo con alguien. Lo veo. Estoy intentando ingresar otra vez. El cuatro, lo vamos a mandar ahí. A ver quién más está por acá. Ana Verónica Hernández Paz. Yo soy la señora. Jorge Luis. Jorge Luis al cuatro. Okay, ahorita sí. Ok, voy. Teacher, miss, help me, please. Send the link. Teacher. Teacher. 
May you can send the link, please, in chat. Ok, um, sí, ahorita se lo voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Y no puede poner en el grupo de aquí, desde el chat. El link, en el, en el, en el chat de acá. Ah, oh, sí, también se lo puedo poner acá. Ahí está. So there you go. Ahí está. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. En el asunto tenemos que poner el nombre del compañero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, Verónica Elizabeth Turki. Agreguen su nombre también para cuando veamos, para tener ahí este quien lo realizó. No creo que me va a aparecer, pero por si acaso pongan su nombre también. Como Teacher. Y vamos a escribir en esa pizarra. Uh -huh. Yes. Sí. Pero yo no, no sé cómo, no vi. Es el que link. Se me está link. trabando por rato. Ahí está. Vale, el link me, me llevo acá. Ajá. Ahora solamente se clic ahí donde está ese símbolo, ese icono del más, abajo. Ah. El rosadito. Ok. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> Y aquí Nosotros solo estamos la foto. haciendo en el cuaderno. Ah, ok. Pueden subir una foto. Si lo están haciendo en el cuaderno, pueden subir la foto. Ahí con el segundo sí, icono el... o el primero. Creo que es el primero, creo que. Ahí pueden para subir el, la foto también. No Pero ¿y ese, ese es para escribir o cuál es para escribir? Ah, para escribir es... Eh, cierra ese. Cierra, cierra ahí. Es, escribe algo abajo, abajo. Está abajo, ah, ahí. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. I I Ok, ahí checa ahí la oración. I might go to visit. To visit. Ahí está. Visit. Ahí le falta la T. Ahí está. Check the spelling for might. Ahí verifica el spelling. <laughs> ok. Ok. Ya, ya, ya voy a teacher. ¿A dónde me dice? El spelling de might. Uh, might, might. I might. Ah. Uh -huh. No, la primera, la primera. I might go to visit. Ah, ok. Ah, que tiene una, tiene una N ahí. Ahí. En mi... Ahí le ha puesto una N y es solo M-I-G-T-H. M-I-G-T-H. Uh -huh, la N, ahí. 
Ah, es cierto, cierto, cierto. Va, y la otra habíamos dicho. I mm -hmm. mean. I mean. Might, might, recuerden, might. Perdón, I mind. Ah, es que me cuesta escribir. <ríe> I, I mind. The next month. Así era, no era go to. Pero es que creo que eso va primero. Creo. Ok. Ah, ok. Mm. Sería, recuerden que después de might, uh -huh. viene un verbo en forma base, como el que está arriba. I might go. La otra sería, I might. Y el verbo. El verbo en forma base. I might eat. I might drink. Ok, I, I might go. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. To the next month. Sunset Park. Mm, okay. Okay. Bye. Ahí, solo una observación, chicos. I might go to. Cuando ese que tú que está después del verbo go me está indicando que voy a ir a dónde. Ahí tengo que buscarle el lugar. Y después la, la expresión de tiempo, pongámosla al final. Entonces, uh, acá sería Sunset Park. Ajá. Ahí después de tú sería Sunset Park. Uh -huh. Y ahí queda, quiten, le quitan el artículo da, solo déjenle next month. Next month, ok. Ok. ¿Cómo se escribe Sunset Park? S-E, S-U, perdón. T-S-E. Uh -huh. Así como se escribe, se escucha. Uh -huh. Cuando el impito es activo, vamos a ver dónde está. Ah, sí, ahí está. Vamos a ver. Ya lo vi. Ahí está en el chat. Está. Pero se lo voy a compartir a ver si puede. A ver. Quiero ver si se lo puedo compartir. Aquí, venimos para acá. Y aquí. Aquí lo ve. Uh -huh. Google Gym. Aquí podemos poner las que nosotros llenamos. Uh -huh. Pero lo que creo que no puedo hacer es escribir mientras estoy transmitiendo. Es como no es propio de mi máquina. Pero ahí las vamos a ver. Las que tiene aquí. Mire aquí que les califiquemos. Dice. She might go to the beach. Dice Milton. Que posiblemente no vaya a la playa. O existe la posibilidad remota de que vaya. Y el anónimo. No sé quién es. <risa> eh, posiblemente <risa> vaya al, al gimnasio. To the, to the gym. Eh, el otro dice. She might buy my house. Que vaya a comprar una casa. Wow. Sí, Mike. No, ajá, porque se Mike. Ah, no, hay posibilidades de que no lo haga. Hay pocas posibilidades. Ajá. Rafael. Sí, Mike. Hi, Miss. Hola, guys. How you doing? Cada vez que hago un comentario me sale anónimo. Really? <laughs> Let me cambiar. check that. Ah, probably. Ah, um, probably it's the settings that I have here. So just let me check I that. Mean... Oh? Probably are the settings. Vamos a checar aquí la configuración. Mm, okay. Pero ya publicaron. Yo publiqué dos. Sí. Yo también. Y no ahí daré mi nombre. Yo le escribí mi nombre. Ah, awesome. Sí, eso, eso pueden hacer, escribirle su nombre también. Ah, okay. Me parece que... Oh, no. Déjame ver este, este... Ah, pero se me cerró. Pero no tengo que volver a abrir. Sí, no, sí, sí, aquí se me sale. Probablemente... Déjame checar acá. Anónimo. Hmm. 
Okay. Ah, probablemente cuando se unieron, puede ser que no le han puesto nombre, no sé si les pedía un nombre cuando se unieron, ¿no? No, no, no me fijé. Sí, porque sí me fue un no, no, solo póngale el nombre abajo. Rafael, ajá, así como lo he puesto Rafael. Okay, well, I'm going to close it because we're going to finish and I want you to work on the exercise at least the well, task number eight. Okay. Okay. Aquí estaba escribiendo ya el otro. <ríe> en el okay. teléfono me conecté, pero me sacó. That's okay. So I think that you're going to submit that later on, but that's okay. Thanks, miss. Thank you. su número y mandarle la... A nosotros le dimos publicar y no se publicaron. Sí, sí, ahorita, Elena. Bye. Yo le di publicar, tampoco se publicó, así es que si me pone cero la teacher voy a demandar ese programa. Sí, es que eso estábamos con Elena, que le dimos publicar y no aparecieron en la no, pizarra. No, no se podía. Ajá. Ok, bueno, no sé. Bueno, ahorita le digo. Solo anónimo, no decía ahí. Ajá, no se envió a... Ah, que era anónimo. Sí, sí, me aparecieron varios anónimos. Nosotros le pusimos como el nombre, eh, okay, so Solo lady, por eso todos lady. nos sacamos 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, try to do it, okay? Try to do it and send me that um, exercises, okay? So, uh, well, I, um, look at this. I want you to check and open the platform so we can check the activity for this uh, day. So please open that. Y okay, los demás que no, que no pudieron agregar lo pueden hacer y mañana checamos esos ejemplos, cómo les quedaron. Ok. So please try mañana to open. No a... um... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, tomorrow, uh, Monday. Monday. Yo hice yeah. uno, si los mandé en imagen al WhatsApp porque como no se publicaron. No se publicaron. Mm. Ahí le di publish y no salieron, entonces lo, le, la captura que tomé la, la mandé al WhatsApp, pero solo había hecho cuatro. Ok, entonces, awesome. So you can send it to me too. La pueden enviar también a mi WhatsApp, ok? Ok, well, I think that we're going to... Um... How many we have to do, teacher? Sorry? How many sentences we have to do? Ah, 10, 5 and 5. Use 5 using five may and 5 using might. Mm -hmm. Ok, we can, we can do it for tomorrow. So you can pass it tomorrow or send it to my WhatsApp. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, so, and I'm gonna leave you working on task number eight, okay? Guys, uh, I think that we didn't have enough time today. So just let me pass the attendance list once more. And I don't know, who opened the platform? Quien abrió la plataforma, chicos? I... Okay, so let's try to conclude with this exercise. Task number eight. My family and I may or might. Yes, what do you think? May. May, you sure? Might. 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 
Number two, I think you may maybe 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 may. may. okay may maybe okay I think you may be wrong. This meeting is today. The meeting is today, not tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Oh no, the airplane. Maybe. 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 Maybe, maybe. maybe today. Okay. Number four. May, may I help you? May I help you? May. 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 Mm -hmm. may. may I help you? May. So this may is. I come in. Ajá, uh -huh. this is more formal even than using can or could. Esto es un poco más formal que usar can y could. Um, may five. May five. May, 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 may I come may. in. May I come in. Okay. May I come in? And that's all, right? So that's all. Yo necesito ayuda en la nueve. Yo creo que está bien. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be on Monday. So don't miss the oh, I am finished okay. number nine. Awesome, done. Ah, I'll show the answers. Let's the at least once more. Ya ven que ni, ni tres minutos les toma hacer el ejercicio. Está bien, super fácil. El nueve. Okay. Ana Marlene Andrade Osorio. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Isabel. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Carlos Miguel Lumaña Lobo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Present, teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. ¿No han visto a Guadalupe por acá, chicos? Oh. Oh, okay. no, dejó el bus. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Ok, hey, esta noche. Uh, thank you. Esta noche nos quedamos con Clelia. Y si hay alguien más que tenga duda o alguna pregunta, puede quedarse. Okay. Fernando It's Salvador right. Figueroa. Present. Okay. Jorge Luis Castaneda Martínez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Thank you. Oscar René Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you guys. So we we'll just uh, stay with Clelia and the rest. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you Monday, okay? Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. May you have a happy weekend, okay? Have a happy weekend too, teacher. Thank you. Okay, bien, en Clelia. Excepciones para consultas. Me gustaría saber si tiene alguna consulta o algo eh, que le gustaría reforzar en específico. Ah, pues consulta, no, y reforzar creo que me falta más más aprender más vocabulario. Vocabulario. Uh -huh. sí. Ok, lo que, que podemos... Me entender las, la, la, lo que significan las palabras. Ok, lo que podemos hacer es recomendarle un sitio web a través de, de, de vocabulario. No sé si, si ya lo conocía, pero lo voy a compartir. No. Ok. Se llama Agenda Web. Agenda. Dale, lo vamos a cargar. Voy a tomar captura. Ok, yo ahí estoy compartiendo uno, pero no sé si se lo va a cargar, pero ¿le puede tomar captura o una foto? Sí, ya. Vale, ok. Aquí solo le explico cómo funciona. Bueno. Tiene, tiene de todas las áreas y de todos los niveles. Igual lo re, la puede redirigir a sitios externos, pero lo va acomodando por secciones. Hay de gramática, vocabulario, 
eh, ejercicios con los verbos, eh, fonética, es eh, listening, reading, tenemos ejercicios de dictado, historias, videos y canciones. Entonces hay, hay de todo y hay ejercicios en los cuales usted puede practicar. Por ejemplo, aquí hay verbos, vocabulario en general. Por ejemplo, podemos venirnos acá. Usted solamente va jugando el área y podría ser este, bueno, en este caso acá solo tenemos, bueno, tenemos estas categorías, pero podemos checar qué más hay, eh, los días de la semana, hobbies, eh, muebles, eh, los números también, lugares en la ciudad, direcciones. Entonces, y si queremos más de vocabulario, tenemos por acá, vamos, este de people. Este, este sí es meramente para vocabulario. Son, le muestro algunas imágenes para que usted las haga el match ahí. O sea, solamente estoy esperando que me cargue. Ok, me saco. Entonces acá de F o pueden ser ejercicios en, en línea directamente. Vamos a, vamos a abrir tres de ellos. Lo que es sí que hay que tomarse el tiempo también para investigar qué, qué uh -huh. significan algunas cosas. Eh, Compré ahora y solamente voy agregándola. En, lo que hace falta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, he has a got a bear, brown hair, or curly hair. Podría ser esta. Y lo mismo, estos son ejercicios para escribir. Para escribir y va, y va aprendiendo el vocabulario. Lo que claro que no, no, a veces no se lo dan en español completamente, pero eh, podemos buscarlo. Uh -huh. Está bonito. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese sitio web, a usted aquí ya me dirigió a otro sitio web. Describing uh, people. Por ejemplo, puede aprender a cómo escribir a alguien, le aparece el vocabulario, acá están las sombreadas. Handsome, beautiful, young, son adjetivos más que todo. Y sustantivos los que veo ahí. Um, veamos, ¿qué más hay? Aquí hay um, recursos de vocabulario, por ejemplo, conversaciones, vamos a ver. Aunque okay, yo le recomendaría bastante le lectura y sí, vocabulario, sí. Pero creería yo que podría ser a través de, de lectura para aprender ese, ese vocabulario. Eh, por ejemplo, acá está bonito este porque me sale la conversación y tengo un audio. No. Y acá está la script, aquí está la, lo que dice la conversación. Lo va escuchando, lo va practicando. Pero sí, para vocabulario también hay que tomarse un poco de tiempo. Y también practicar lo que, lo que ya conoce. Uh -huh. No sé ahorita cómo se ha sentido en el módulo. Y con respecto a la, la secuencia que lleva. Bastante bien dar la, las clases que vamos recibiendo. Casi no la escuché, casi no la escuché, perdón. Creo que tengo problemas ahí con el intro. Okay. Que bastante bien y que lo que nos hace falta, me imagino que a todos, es practicar lo que, lo que vemos en cada clase. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Le, bueno, es, requiere, la verdad es que requiere a veces este, varias actividades, de hablar, el vocabulario y, este, y ejercicios escritos también. Uh -huh. Pero sí, siento que no me alcanza el tiempo para hacer desarrollar todo lo que quisiera. Y eso que tenemos dos horas. Ay, tenemos dos horas. Pero este... Pero se aprende bastante porque dos horas diarias, o sea, dos horas diarias a la semana son diez. Sí, son diez, son diez horas. Entonces, Yo he aprendido bastante en estos cuatro meses. Uh -huh. Sí, es que, es que cada, bueno, cada clase lleva su, en sí un contenido. Bueno, entonces eso sería con respecto a vocabulario. Puedo buscarlo acá. También, este, bueno, está, aquí nos ingresamos a la parte de gramática. Aquí hay ejercicios de vocabulario, eh, verbos. Ajá. Por ejemplo, veamos acá, a ver si están aquí los modales. Aquí está quién, qué ejercicio usted. Pero sí, a mí lo que me ayudó bastante, gracias a Dios, fue también que leía, leía. Entonces eso sí, yo se lo recomiendo. Claro, todo, el listening es importante también. Pero en esta página se puede encontrar todos los recursos solamente de ir silosamente buscando. Porque en todo, solamente en la parte 1 donde dice grammar, encontramos muchísimas cosas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo lo que estoy haciendo últimamente es, es escuchando libros en inglés. Uh -huh. 
también. también sí, bueno. Eso me ha ayudado bastante porque entiendo la pronunciación, casi no me cuesta. Lo que me cuesta es entender lo que es en español. Ajá. Por eso yo pienso que podría hacer lectura y eh, lectura comprensiva, porque a través de la lectura comprensiva puedo buscar algunas, este, bueno, las lecturas aparece vocabulario nuevo, casi siempre. Sí. Y, este, y por medio de las preguntas, ahí puede ir este, aprendiendo todavía más. Uh -huh. Yo se lo recomendaría. Pero okay. ahí le dejo ese recurso. Y yo sé que le va a servir mucho, porque no solamente que estén alojados ahí, porque lo, la redirige a diferentes recursos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Clelia. Gracias a ti. Buenas noches. Have a Buenas great noches. weekend. Bye. Bye-bye.